Welcome back to another episode of Real Talk with A.B. and Pat Neely, y'all. Hey, we told you we on fire. We're down here in Memphis in May, and we got an outstanding barbecue legend, pit master, all of Who the is that? Who is that? There he is. There he is. Y'all know him. Y'all know him. A.B., introduce our brother. Hey, you know what, man? I'm not gonna do it, bro. Everybody know who you are, man. Go ahead and say it. I'm gonna just hit you with the big Kev. I'm, I'm, That's I'm how big, I know I'm, you. I'm big Kev, baby. Uh, barbecue, <laughs> Bledsoe's BBQ from the yeah, CPT. Yeah. Hanging with my OGs right now. Yeah. I'm ready to have some fun, man. Let's get hey, this popping. The OGs, you know. <laughs> yeah. hey, that's what I'm talking about, yeah, man. Let's get hey, this thanks for, Hey, thanks for validating me, bro. Oh, you've been validated. <laughs> you, you've been validated. Them, all them followers you got. <laughs> shit. I steal from this man's <laughs> recipe stand. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> so listen, Bledso. For those of you that don't know, tell us, man, about this empire that you built. Oh, man, we started in Compton, man, Bloodsoul's BBQ, man. And uh, like I said, we, 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 we started on a wing and a prayer, you know, because like I said, you know, it's always hard for us to get money. So right, right. Uh, like I said, I grew up in Compton. My granny, my mother used to send me to Corsicana, Texas. My dad was LAPD. My mother was a Black Panther. Wow. So, you know, imagine that right, 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 in right. Compton. I, I come from one of the biggest gang families in Compton and Watts, wow. but they kept me out of trouble, you right. know? So I went to Texas. Uh, my granny used to run a little juke joint and everything was going on in the juke oh, joint, yeah, but yeah, yeah, kept yeah. me away from that, but was teaching me something I never knew. She was teaching me a trade because she said I was too much of a work for anybody. Right. And turns out she was right. I worked for the Department of Corrections and got fired because I so, right. But I had to, while I was fighting that case on that wrongful termination, I had to fall back on what I knew how to do. It's always go back to the karate kid, wax on, wax off. Right. It was right. sauce on, sauce off, wow. you know? And fell back on that, and I fell back on DJing and, and catering, and that's, that's what started Bledsoe's, man, by the grace of God. How and long like has Bledsoe's been in business? Uh, in total since 08. The Compton location is closed, but we, all, we have one in Hollywood. Uh, we have one at LAX by the Proud Bird. Uh, we're about really? to open up on Prairie? On Prairie, right at the yeah, Proud Bird. Yeah, yeah, when you uh, said Proud Bird. Yeah. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. where my after prime was. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, hey, yeah, hey uh, I done been to a couple of things yeah, here myself. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. right. Uh, we're about to open up a new one in uh, Santa Monica. Wow, yeah, congratulations. And, and believe it or not, we also have one in uh, Melbourne, Australia. Man. Yeah, so we, we uh, what you know, we're trying I to do it. I bet you, Grandmama looking down, like, uh, uh, look at my knucklehead. She's still living. Is she? She's 147. We don't right, 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 nah, right, she right, passed. Right, she right, passed. Right, 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 right. That's nah, she is. She is. My moms and them are still here, man. So it's been a blessing. Like I said, and to meet people like y'all, man, like I say, such a huge fan and such well, a huge that, fan. You know what I mean? Right, and it's such know, a tight, tight knit. Hey, it, it is, bro. And, and and earlier when we were talking to like some other guests, you know what I mean? Uh, just for us to be here. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? For him, you know what I mean? He didn't, he didn't have, you know, been on there and then had it and met, you know, like mega people. Yeah. But for me, man, I'm from the hood like you, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, you just, did the work. I did yeah. the work. Though. You did, no, see, I that's did what I'm work, saying. Man. You, you might not have gonna... the time, but you, right, right, right. you, you ahead of so many people because you understand social media. You right. know what I mean? I still got on TV. <laughs> you know, so I barely know hey, social media, but you hey, know you, social hey, media. That's hey, a you, big following. You preaching, bro. You know, yeah, I had that yeah. box on the top here, You know too. the one, yeah. Yeah, wow. on TV. You know about that? The, what, the dial? Yeah, button. with the dial. One, yeah, it yeah. was just off and on. On yeah. TV. On the video the game, game I knew was Pong. Remember Pong? Yeah, I remember Pong. Pong. Yeah, yeah, Pong. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, on the black Telling your age now. I'm happy with my age. That's right, that's right. You got to tell the audience why we here, because you are, you've been in this program a lot longer than us. So the Kingsford preserved the pit. Let me let me just say, I don't mess with that many folks. Right. I mess with Kingsford. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people, a lot of especially major companies, always say what they gonna do, and then they give you a little money here and do that, this and that, and then they done with it. Right. You know, Kingsford right, has right. put an all-star team together of people, and to teach every, you could be the best barbecue in the world and not right. know the business of the business. Preach. So you get in every aspect of that. It ain't nobody else doing that. Nobody but Kingsford is doing that. So you right. got to give them their props for that. Yeah. I got much respect for them. You know? And it's not just 30 or 40 days. That's what attracted me. This is a year long program. And to drive your point even further, your mentors, even after the program, it's a lifetime. You still have yeah. that relationship. My mentee it. from last year, we still talk. Yeah, mine too. They still call, they still, and you, you got somebody for life, you know, right. and you got Kingsford for life. Right. You know, I call Kings for anything you need. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And they be, okay, Kevin, okay, calm down. We got it. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's you never, don't get that. No, and it's never really been about, since I've been a part of the program, about promoting Kings for Charcoal. No, no. 
They sit there to the side and they put emphasis on, really, you spend time with this mentee, teach him as much as you can. This is what it's really about. It. They're not trying to promote their product. Nah, yeah. um, they're the kings, they the kings. Of, 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 of charcoal That's anyway. They what don't have what to What, what, what other kind of charcoal did you use in the neighborhood? I don't remember well, no charcoal back in the day. Kings, right? I mean, that was always kings. My mother used to have old kings when they used to make the old barbecue pits back in the day. Yeah, right, right. Uh, yeah. uh, Ten barbecue. Right, remember right, that right. red, white, and blue for as long as Man, I can remember. As long I'm, as I can remember. I'm rolling with them. Hey, you just took me way back. I remember I got in trouble one time because I was out in the backyard just trying to hurry up, right? I'd have filled up the whole pit with nothing but uh, kings right in there yeah. and start cooking over the top. See, I knew early in the game, man, you're not supposed, you got to have them two zones. Yeah. How many times have you been out, like, in public? You know, back in the day, we used to do uh, the picnics at the park. Yeah. Oh, yeah How many yeah, times yeah. have you went there and you didn't even know who those people were? You end up with the tools in your hand. Yeah, always. Because I look up I and eat. I say, are you barbecuing, are you smoking, or are you grilling? Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Because you cooking right on top of these coals, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And then you want to know why your chicken is burnt. And so right. dry, you know what I mean? so dry, you got to so, eat it in the rain. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, what about this? What about this? It looks so great, but when you go ahead and bite it, it's, it's raw on the inside. It's raw I'm like, man, you're cooking too hot, man. Oh, yeah. you cooking too hot. That's what I always say. Food so bad, you got to pray after you eat. Right, 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 right. So, Blazo, what's what's in the future? For me, for, hanging for out Blesso. with y'all, man. Hanging out with y'all. Hey, well, what well, else in the present? Yeah. Yeah. Where do you see Blazo's Barbecue Five ten uh, years? Where, wherever we going, man. Wherever we going to the moon, man. You know what I mean? I mean, that's what that's, I'm used to. That's, 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 that's real talk. That's real talk. And it's enough room for everybody. Yeah, it is. It's enough room for everybody. Please, please pick one of these cameras and say that, man. It's enough room for everybody. Don't worry, but see, I tell, don't worry about the haters. Right. You can haters don't. I was telling you the other day. You can't. I'm not the hater. Even the little young rappers I was talking. You can't fuel yourself. Off of haters. No, right, right, the, right. The, the most simplest thing is haters gonna hate. Just right. keep. I never fueled myself off no haters. Never because that's you. you, you that's what they you want. You, you can't. You know what? My my uncle, who was probably one of my biggest mentors when I was growing up, ran barbecue restaurants here in Memphis. He used to tell me, instead of putting emphasis and looking at your competitor, competitor. How about you keep your head down and focus on yes, you? Yes, master right. yours. And that's right. all right. I did for all the years. I just, I'm focused on me. I ain't worried about what they're doing over there. I ain't worried about, because when I take my eye off of this pit and start looking at your pit, that's when you lose it. That's when then this is going to go wrong. Yeah, it's enough. Yeah. Every People are never going to stop liking good food. Never. 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 So never. no matter how many, it's enough never. room. And it's enough room. Yeah, but I can come and open up right next to you. They're going to come to you one day. Next day, they're coming to me. They're going to come. Hey, look, look. I, <laughs> hey, I know. Check this out. I, I know where Blesso is from. I, I knew when you had said that. I knew when you had said that. you like, hey, we cool, bro. But you just opened up right here next to me. <laughs> you will have a fire <laughs> tonight. Not Neely. <laughs> not A.B.E. <laughs> yeah, nah. but, but you know you know what I'm saying is I that. I told you. One of the things I always learn, if my customers quit coming to me to go to Bledsoe, it ain't because Bledsoe came, because I ain't doing what I'm you do supposed what you to. Cause I customers already got loyal. Them. Customers are loyal. They are loyal. But they want something good, especially in, in our community. Yeah. Because there's so much of a negative stigma. Yeah. You know, you want to give them what they want. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you, that's any place else. You want to, because you got it's the hardest place to do business. But then once you are loved, you loved. And you love by everybody. Everybody came. I always tell the story. It was a white lady came one time and it was a shooting. Dude, first, and I'm born and raised in Compton, I never seen nobody get shot. So a uh, guy got shot. This lady was just paranoid. I mean, just in a panic. I was like, you know, hugging her, calm down, calm down. And, uh, you know, and I was like, she was just like, you know, and I understandably so. And I had told her, this is the first time I ever seen somebody get shot. Mm -hmm. And that later on, she texted me and said, wow, I felt like I was being disrespectful. I said, no, you wasn't. But she felt like since we were there, we were used to that kind of stuff, right, right, and we right, not, right? You right, know what right, I mean? Right, like, like, like right, people right. got a whole stigma about Compton. Compton, right, right, Compton ain't no ghetto. It's the, right. How's I, I tell people million, that all the time. Right. Like, right. I always right, remember right, I was uh, Hub in college, City, right? Hub City. Right. I was in a uh, college, and a friend of mine came down there, and uh, he was from Chicago, and uh, he said, "Man, I don't ever want to hear y'all call Compton a ghetto. Compton, Compton got sprawl in front of y'all." Right. He said, "Bless right, Mama right. got a swimming pool and all right, that." Right, 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 right. And then we went to Chicago to Cabrina Greens. And right. I said, "Now that's what, right? That's what it is, right? Like the mailman came and just dumped their mail on the corner, and let them sort it out. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But seriously, like, so it's it's just that stigma. It's stigma. And I tell everybody, haters are gonna be there. They always. are gonna be there. That's always the best sign that you're doing something right. Yeah. You know. If but you ain't no got one, no hate." You ain't made it. I tell people don't go back and once you go back with somebody on social media, like this dude told me my nose so big I can smell what the rock guy cooking. I didn't say nothing. Right. I could have went back and talked about his mama, but the people but that, but the no, people that follow you, yeah. 
Yeah. The people that follow you. That's they, my they honeybees. Right, right. They're right. going yeah. to right. defend you, but you see his fellow and mentee, the knowledge that he's going to get. Carter. When he spent a year with you. Yeah, Carter. And Carter's I mean, all that's, right. That's, that's, that's you dropping real knowledge oh, because yeah. I tell people about Preserve the Pit. We're not here to show you how to grill. Nah. Most of the, they when these fellows, they know how to cook. Yeah. They can cook. Teaching you but the business this of other business. stuff. Yeah. And look, yeah. keep your head down. You stay focused. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the haters. My name has been public for years. Yeah. You imagine yeah. the kind of stuff that's been uh, said and, 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 and the hate mail and different stuff that's come through. Never worry about, about it. This skin here is tough as level. That's what I'm saying. And I try to tell these youngs, youngsters out there, you got to be the same way. Yeah. As soon as you lose focus, yours is going yeah. down. As soon as you start worrying about that, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Remember hey. that, A.B. Hey, I got, hey, come on, man. I'm out here in front of the millions of people, That's bro. what I'm saying. I'm you know knowing. what I mean? Uh, hey, I done read all kind of stuff. But everybody's an internet gangster, though. You know uh, that. You, I, you know I hate that. it. Don't I, you I hate just, it? Hey, I just, hey, it is what it is. Hey, but when you meet me, it'll be a different, you know, yeah, everybody yeah. want to talk I, differently to you. Right, right, right. Hey, with that being said, man, listen, I ain't gonna take up all your time. You know why? Cause you gonna you finna get connected in between me and him, and we finna walk this beat, man. Let's do it, man. You know what I mean? I, I gotta I, go in here and talk to some of the people, and I think you my car blanche. Oh yeah, let's you know do it. Let's hey, do it. I'm gonna use you to get I us. I wanna go to the Hennessy booth. Do they have a Hennessy booth? I'm sure we'll find I'm one. I'm sure that'll be better. <laughs> hey, I know that's your drink too, man. Yeah, I'll fuck yeah. since I was 19. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 58 hey, years old. I know that. I know that. See, I know that. Time so when you think about preserve the pit, now this is what I'm talking about. I always knew him, but never met him. I always knew you. But real talk, we sitting back like we've been knowing each other 50 years. Man, that's, that's just real game recognized yeah, game. Yeah, I'm yeah, real, you yeah, know, for from real. day one. Yeah, from day one. So hey, to be honest with you, talking. be honest with yeah. you, I'm, we can walk off right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you just said the real. <laughs> you, 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 uh, look at here. Yeah, this, this is what Rashid I'm talking Phillips, about right one here. Of the most oh my goodness, this looks Young good. chefs in the world, pit master you know, in the know, world. You 20 bucks every time you see there. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Oh my goodness. I want to testify. That's so good. Can I testify? Oh, you can go right here. Mm. You gonna eat good today? That's good. That's really good. I just gotta ask you this. Which one of these briskets is better, mine or yours? No, no, I'm just. Oh talking. man! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't know. I seen you. I don't know. I don't know. You in the game? I tell you that. No, no, no. What's your secret, though, bro? I mean, what what can you give up right now? I mean, you know, I say low and slow like a six four. You know what I mean? That's how I get down. You know. But I tell people first get a good cut of meat. Meat is the meat is the your cut is the key. You can cook a brisket the same way and get a bad cut. And that's rougher than right. Grape Street Watch midnight. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. Like, you're right. You're right. It's so it's, it's the meat. But then, like I say, learn how to cook the brisket. Right. If you're looking, you ain't cooking. Get that. Chin- I like low and slow. Right. I mean, people cooking uh, uh, incredible brisket hot and fast these days. You right. know, I've had the it wood. Too. Yeah, I've the had wood it. choice, had your right. seasonings, all that. But just make it incredible. Right. You know, like I said, just make it good. You can't. You cook a brisket for 15 hours and you got it well seasoned. And it's a good cut of meat. It ain't. It, it's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a good cut. That's what I've always liked about barbecue. Like it's really a, a form of art. It is. It is. It's the one product that you sell retail, in the food service business that you got to take your time. You got to be passionate yes. about it. You yeah. can't play around with it. We ain't frying no chicken nah. or cooking no hamburger. No, not this at is, all. This, you this know, is barbecue. This, this is barbecue. The, the least. The I'm least happy, thing y'all. is probably uh chicken. And yeah. that's three and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah. So you, nah. you know, it's, I got it's, one for you. I got one for you. I can take. I pride myself on this at the restaurant. Sometimes you do get a brisket that ain't the best. Yeah. For me, my number one thing is it's about the trim. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you can't trim, you can have a great piece. And you're not going to. Oh, so we're going to have. We're going to have. A, we're going to have. A, uh, oh cut, wait. Hey, should we cut, cut this and put a new get, title on let's this? Let's call Rashid hey, right away. Hey, go quick. get. Go get a few of them. Rashid. And we can sit down here and really talk about Rashid. it. Rashid. Cut back right into the trim. Right. Cause I don't trim retail. You know what I mean? You don't trim retail, not at all. Uh uh-uh. uh. See, yeah. I didn't. But he's kind of, he is kind of. Um, but I probably don't get the kinda, meat. I probably don't get the meat that you got. Well, that might. No meat selection. To do with. He was just, you know, talking to us about saying. Uh, <laughs> first of all, I just found out something I did not know when uh-huh. you told me about the trim, yeah. right? I was. He was saying about it's really about the meat and all of that. I told him like sometimes you don't get the you know best meat, but I said for me, my number one thing is. It's all in the trim. 
if you for me, mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, if I can't and get that's my, the best way to say it. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because everybody, I didn't like you said. I didn't have brisket hot and fast. Yeah, and it was good. It was good. But they perfected their craft at doing that. Yeah, yeah. But you said the thing. As long as it's good. But we always that's the, a running joke. Even when I'm not even around. I'm trimming my brisket. I know my pop somewhere turn over his grave and he's still living. Right, right. You know right, what right. I mean? <laughs> but, but I always say for retail. Yes. And then that's the key. And I can show somebody how to cook a brisket untrimmed right. and it's going to be just as good as a trim brisket. Because right. I right. can't afford, even if I'm making sauces, I just can't afford to take a 15 pound brisket to nine or 10 pounds. Right. You know, right. because I'm going to get into nitty gritty now. Wait right. Minute. Yeah. What's your perfect uh, brisket you like before you trim? What are you looking for? 13 to 15 pounds. Yeah, retail big. now if i'm cooking which i don't do much but if i'm doing competition yeah i do a, like a 10 to 12 pounder because right. i can control that you know i mean i can control it all but in the restaurant then you're training people too you need that lead way right you know you got some if, if you starting you better have a hell of a pit master if you got 100 briskets on there trimmed 12 down to 12 pounds and he ain't watching that pit right you're gonna lose which you right. still got that that getaway on the uh on the you know what but if it's incredible you know like like his brisket is some of the best in the world your brisket some of the best in the world your brisket we all have mine in. Right. we all have been that so right. everybody got they take i don't tell nobody not to trim right i just say i don't trim right now right. if we doing something yeah we like i'm we coming down for memorial day i'm not trimming brisket this weekend right you know <laughs> you trim <laughs> i'm gonna have him on the pit before he get there <laughs> I'm trimming. All the way from the West Coast. All the way from the West yeah, Coast, baby. Somebody better tell them. Who would ever dream hey, we'd hey, be look. sitting here? Hey, don't you have know? me. Let me go change my, my shirt so I can pop that collar. Somebody okay. better let them know the West Coast is here. <laughs> the West and Coast? I, I said it earlier. Let me I was you. talking to Silence, Silence of the, what is that, Silence of the Ham? Yeah. yeah. I, I said, bro, I don't care. I said, but I don't care what's something. happening, what color you are, where right. you're from. You can be from the bayou. Right. You can be Aaron Franklin. Right. All I need to do is give me a pit. Let me find out where the hot spots are. Right. And give me my brisket. Right. Said. Right. And I'll let it speak for myself. And, and, and speak I'll on that. tomorrow when right. I'm done. <laughs> Speaking of LA, what people don't understand, they always say, LA, you know, for this and that. No, LA is long for. But back when, when I was young, and I know AB can co sign this, we had barbecue from everywhere. Including right. your people, right? right. From right. Mississippi, Memphis. Right. right. Uh, some of the best barbecue was Gadberry's out of Texas on right. Broadway and Slauson, right. right there. We had some of the best. Mr. Jim's need no right. team to eat my beef. We had right. some of the best wow. barbie, legendary barbecue spots. Oh yeah. I'll tell people. I believe that. From from Central, from South Central to L.A., Watts, Compton in the '60s, '70s, and '80s was some of the best barbecue in the world. Well, you know why I believe. Hell, y'all got the best weather in the world. Well, but you know, those people so you migrate. barbecue year round. Yeah. The migration. Right? The migration. And the though. migration. Yeah, you know. All my saying? family that's out there came from Memphis and yeah. Mississippi. Yeah, that's some good ass. Uh, yeah, my, you know. my, uh, my sauce recipe, and because I had to change my sauce because I had a Texas sauce, and they wasn't filling it in L.A. So, and I have a cousin from Memphis, and we got together, and this was before I even opened up Blessings. I had, and I love JB's. Uh -huh. I told you, I love uh -huh. JB's, yeah. you know. And I said, I got to get something close to this sauce. Right. And that's what I did. Right. You know, so. And the JB's was a, really a Memphis sauce. Yeah, yeah, it was. Really that, that's Memphis what I'm sauce. saying. So and people know, like, oh, you kind of got like a Texas Memphis. I be like, yeah, hey, they say, oh, yeah, but you, you know slick something. You know what I learned is that, <laughs> like, y'all talking about brisket. Y'all pork. brisket rules from Texas on out. Yeah. It's Baby, when you start coming past St. Louis, it's all pork. Pork. We it's sitting here at yeah. Memphis in May. And they, they have the other little competition. What's the main thing? Whole hog, uh, shoulder, and ribs. Yeah. It's all pork. Yeah. But we really wanted to perfect brisket, brisket. Well, in our it, restaurants too. because yeah, did it. um, it's a it's a real delicatessen. It is. I mean, it, it, is. it really I is. Yeah. Let me get trying, you know, this is grown from un, un, <laughs> untrimmed. <laughs> no, it's trimmed. Hey, you know, you know what? Before you step out of here, let's so serious. It's untrimmed. <laughs> All like what we had two thousand people in. Right. Just talking about now, nah, my friend about to come up here and show y'all how to mess up a brisket by right. trimming it. I'm like, no. <laughs> Where are you at? Where was we were at? Uh, we were in uh, the casinos. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, my yeah. thing is, I said, we go back and forth competition, restaurant commercial. So the difference is too. We save our trim and we make tallow out of it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we use the tallow and we render that down and we fire it towards. Let me let, let me let, let me hit him with this this one word right here. Yeah. Yield. Yeah. We in business, bro. Yeah. You don't throw nothing away. Oh, after what you I'm take saying, it, that's after you, but that's that's what I. So you you that's your brisket burger, you know what I mean? That's yeah. your tallow. Burger, 
Gallo. We do our sausages with there. We fried tortillas in there. We there make uh, herb, yeah, man. herb fried uh, I'm French fries in there with a little truffle. Sure. Uh, 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 but you really use that towel. You, it's not going away. I'm not. You've been trying. Away. You've been trying well. I've been, I'm, I'm gonna be all right. I'm, I'm looking for some per pound uh, money. <laughs> <laughs> you want that for right. money? That for hey. money. Yeah. Per pound. Per pound. That's right. Oh man, this has been great. Man. Yes, it has been. Hey, you know what? Uh, hey, like I said, I really want to walk with you two gentlemen. You know, whenever you get a chance to, oh, cool. we got to get out here and go check out some of these people and just talk to them. You know, yeah. a little bit of that meaning. Let's do it, like I said, you got that gold pass that get us everywhere. Yeah, he got it. You he know, got you know it. I mean? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be drunk in a, the 48 hour observation <laughs> by six o'clock. I have to tell you, bless so like, man, this has really been an honor, man. Oh, man I'm honored, to hang man. out with you, man, and you know, so many amazing things that you're doing out there on the West Coast and all over. And I, y'all don't know this guy stay on television as Ooh, well yes, you know he's got tv projects and uh it's just really really cool to hang out here james beard award brother. nominated amazon yes. top selling book there you go. amazon top selling cookbook hoodie award two-time winner dedicated Man. philanthropist that's the key. And you, and, and you say, hey, man, I'm honored that you even know who I am, bro. Oh, oh no. Nah, <laughs> hey. You'd be surprised. I'd be, I follow, laugh, all oh, that. Oh, you, know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Hey. So you got to, just the way I do it, you got to, I'd be saying, he going to say cuz or something. <laughs> yeah, right, right. right. Well, I, got, I got half a confidence saying that, too. They're like, hey, bro, talk to me. What side of the gate are you on, yeah, man? Yeah, you, you know see, I didn't even ask. Hey, look, you don't even Look, what color is it? Oh, we black today, huh? Sometimes, sometimes I roll the blue, and then when I start looking at the comments, and I turn it red. Yeah, 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 just to yeah. keep them, I gotta keep them. Gotta em, keep them guessing. Gotta keep them guessing. Never let them know your next move. That's right. Hey, so with that being said, bro, it's been a pleasure, man. Pleasure, and as always, bro. bro, you more than welcome. You know what I mean? Uh, you have out. I don't Vegas, know what to say, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, we just amongst family. You That's know right, what I'm saying? Real hey, talk, so, man. Much love, baby. Much love. Much love, bro. Much love. Much love. Baby. Much love. Yeah. Much love. Much love, brother. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out here that the Grilling TV Network is here to stay, and we got y'all. We out. Peace. And I'm a big subscriber. Been one. I'm still in a... I mean, I'm looking at their recipes, so, you know. <laughs>